This is going to be a very quick podcast because our objective in this podcast is to talk about the tools that you need to create a web page. And there's only two, a text editor and a web browser. Now, if you're running Windows on a PC, you have a text editor on your computer called Notepad. Look in your accessories group. If you run on a Mac, you can use simple text, or you can do what I do. I use a text editor called Text Wrangler. Text Wrangler spiffs up my code that helps me find problems when I encounter them. Notice that some of this text is blue. Blue text are reserved words in the language HTML. So I can find them easier. The red ones are other specific things in HTML. In this case, the HTML is called an element, and the entry in red is an attribute of that element. Okay? Don't let those terms confuse you. We'll get to them in a little bit when the time is right. Now, the, the text that it will be displayed on my web page is just black. Notice the text there must be some way out of here. It's black. It's just plain text. It has no special meaning. Okay? So a programmer's text editor will spiff up your code, which will help you write better code and correct problems quicker. Whether you use a plain text editor or a programmer's text editor, doesn't really matter. Now what you cannot use is a word processor because word processors try to format your documents and your text. And your web browser can't read that file that your word processor creates. You need a text editor. Now once you've got your code You need a browser to test it. And this is the browser Safari. And I've got my web page all along the watchtower loaded up in there. Now, I've been thinking about that, and I think the title is Along the Watchtower. So let's delete those characters, save it out, and refresh. There, we tested it, it works. We're done. That's all we need. Our text editor and our web browser. Later.